117 c a century after the death of alexander the great his successors still vie for dominance over the once prosperous empire over the past three years the seleucid king antiochus iii has pushed through syria ptolemy iv has gathered an army of natives in an effort to meet him at raphia with the country in crisis he knows that defeat would mean nothing less than the end of his dynasty in Egypt. Antiochus, conqueror of Syria, and his Seleucid army, now marches on Egypt. Ptolemy has amassed a large and varied force to meet the Seleucid threat. However, Ptolemy's Atlas elephants are panicked by the larger Indian breed commanded by Antiochus. They will not bear being close to them in the coming battle. Ptolemy must be victorious at Raphia, or his kingdom will surely fall. My lord, the Seleucid forces approach us. Our elephants will not stand being close to those of the enemy. Please avoid them at all costs. Forward! Halt now! We await your command. Chariots! Awaiting orders. Yours to command. Camel archers! Melee cavalry! Ready for orders. Ready, 
the sky! Yours to command! What are you waiting? As you say! Egyptian infantry! Wash for Egypt! Commander! Understood! Roar! Move it! Orders! War elephants! Chariots! Cut them down! Your orders? War elephants! has been wounded and carried to his tent. His absence will be noticed by the men, Commander. Archers! As you command. All right! Rally 
to me at your service. Loose! War elephants! We await your command. Pack them down! For Egypt! Find your targets! By your command! As you Ready. command! Antiochus and his army have been destroyed. There can be no doubt as to who is the true successor to Alexander the Great. 